Hi there, welcome to QA Box. Let's test. If you have not already subscribed to this channel, kindly do so. And if you like the video, give them the thumbs up. All right, so in this video, we are going to talk about the differences between let and var keywords. So the let allows you to declare variables that are limited in scope to the block statement or expression on which it is used. This is unlike the var keyword, which defines a variable globally or locally to an entire function regardless of block scope. The where variables belong to the global scope or local scope if they are declared inside a function, while the let variables are blocked scopes. Let's see that practically. So what is a blocked scope first of all? So anything that we are going to write between these two curly braces is called as block. Okay, so now let's understand that. So I'm using if and I'm saying let's say true. Okay, and inside that, what I'm doing is I'm just creating a variable with the name ABC and assigning it a value one. All right, and if I hit, let me do one more thing by the way. Uh, and let me instead of where, let me use let and instead of ABC, let's use xyz and make it 10 let's hit enter and now let's access variable abc outside the block it is accessible let's try to access xyz xyz is not defined so the moment this block is executed this variable is not available if you have used let however if you have used var the variable is still accessible outside this block of code that's called as block scope that's with if let's try the same with for loop now so we say var mno or let's use i okay is equal to zero i is less than five and we say i plus plus and all we do is console.log we print i okay and let's do the same for let now so instead of var we use let and instead of i we use j let me make the changes at all the places j and let's hit enter so these values are printed two times but let's see if i have got access to i yes it is accessible to me do i have access to j no i don't have access to j okay that's called as blocked scope however let's talk about the functions now so we say function and we say just you know a var let's say and let's declare a variable inside it var and we call it a var is equal to 10 okay let's do the same now for and this function is doing nothing this is just to explain the scope of var and let and if i do let and i say a let okay and make it let's say 20 and now if i try to access this it's not available if i go for a led this is also not available so this var respects the scope only within the function it does not respect the scope inside if for while in all those other places okay that's difference number one difference number two the global var variables are added to the global objects as properties let's understand what is global so in case of browser the global object is called as window so this is your global object so when you create a variable with let's say uh, test one two three and you assign a value one two three four five six okay and you also create another variable with say let and you say test let one two three and you make it this right 
and now if we hit enter and let's try to access these variables using window dot test one two three it's accessible if i use window dot test let one two three see it might be a different variable but this value is not here okay so i can okay so this is a mistake that i've made sorry about this it has to be let and since this variable already exists i'm going to give it a random name rand test all right and let's hit enter and now try window dot r a n d let me use this this is not attached undefined okay that's difference number two what is the difference number three the var keyword allow you to redeclare a variable without any issue how in case of let you get an error let's check that out so var mnop is equal to i say 10 and then i say var mnop okay i create it again and then i do console.log and print the value of mnop i get 10 okay so it allows you to redeclare the value okay however the same with let will give you an error let's check that out and let me change the variable and let's also change it to let and let's check that out what will happen now identifier has already been declared okay so as you could see that if the scopes are not respected in case of war we may end up overwriting some of the already declared or initiated variables so if you are writing or creating variables outside the scope of a function be very careful and the solution is go for let okay that's the difference between let and where hope you like the video thank you so much